Hey y'all, it's July the 16th, 2017, and as you can tell, this particular video is dedicated to two ladies who I know from off the internet, um, who I've conversed with and stuff prior. Uh, this video is dedicated to those two ladies um, out there. Here's the thing about it. I want to mention before we start off, I know both y'all are going to watch this, and I don't blame y'all. Alright, and I appreciate y'all to be honest with you. I know for a fact y'all are both going to watch this video or you're at least going to see this first part. Alright. Um, thing is, I wanted to let y'all know, I just saw y'all's podcast. Alright, or at least I saw about an hour and 45 minutes of it. Alright. And I want to tell y'all before we get uh, underway with what we have to discuss right here in this video, I want to tell both y'all. Y'all have some talent up in you, alright? There's a reason why y'all put up numbers here on YouTube and you know. And I'm not being sarcastic in any sort of way when I say that. I know it seems as though I am. I'm not. Y'all have stuff going for you and stuff. You obviously have more subscribers than I'll ever have and stuff. That's cool. I appreciate that. I mean, I appreciate y'all. I respect y'all, alright? I really do. And not only that, I'm entertained by both y'all. And I'm not trying to gas you up. I really am. And it's obvious, alright? It's obvious that I'm very entertained by y'all. Alright, both y'all. Alright. And I gotta say, for that hour and 45 minutes that I spent watching that, where y'all came together for the first time, I gotta tell you, dude, it was quite interesting. Quite, quite interesting, alright? Kept me glued to my screen. Thing is, I had to stop watching it just because, you know, there's probably some stuff that I should get done, you know, before the sun goes down. So that's really the only reason I stopped watching. Um, but I watched a whole hour and 45 minutes of it and thoroughly entertained. Thoroughly entertained. I don't want y'all to forget any of this, what I just said. Alright? Don't forget that, please. Alright? Um, but now, I do want to mention this. Caitlin Nicole, the whole situation, which obviously was a big part of the broadcast... Dare I say, it was about half of what was discussed on the broadcast. And the thing is, anybody hating on that? Well, they're just wrong because the title of the broadcast said, Caitlin Nicole and more. Alright, so obviously there's going to be more. And if people wanted more about Caitlin Nicole um, and more on the broadcast, I wouldn't blame them necessarily. But, you know, it did say and more. So, that's completely acceptable. I'm glad that y'all came together. The thing is... I, first of all, I knew y'all were going to come together eventually. I already knew that. And I already been on record saying that y'all were going to be ba basically best friends. Uh, y'all, And I'm not saying anything about y'all too, but I said y'all were basically going to be best friends. And I'm on record for saying that. And it's weird how I knew that. But anyways, I was watching a broadcast and about half of it was about Caitlin Nicole Davis. And the thing is, I have some serious comments, uh, very serious comments about it. Right? I would have left my comments on you now, but I don't like you now at all. So I was watching it on YouTube, and I was leaving comments, but what, can nobody see them? So, you know, while watching the part of the broadcast, in particular, referring to Caitlin Nicole da Davis and that whole situation, uh, I did make some notes that I want y'all to take. And the thing is, if y'all want to, all right, it's up to you. Uh, the notes that I made, I just want to run through them real quick, alright? Just real quick, in no particular order. Um, this guy, Tony, for example, I just want to throw him out there. Tony, and I've been hearing his name a lot, and I understand he's probably issuing threats and acting all sort of crazy and stuff on the internet. I understand, I really do. And it's a serious thing to think about for the both of y'all, for anybody involved with Tony, apparently. Other than that... <sighs> What I want to suggest is that Tony is irrelevant, right? Like, honestly, I personally, and I I imagine I'm speaking of, uh, um, on behalf of a, a lot of people, Tony's irrelevant, right? So I understand that he is kind of a troll and stuff, and I get it. You know, a lot of people have trolls and stuff, and sometimes they can irk you and push your buttons. I would suggest don't let them push your buttons, right? Uh, but Tony, at the end of the day, he's not interesting at all, right? So thing is when you feed into it when you start saying his name that gives him power it really does if you didn't say his name you would see his power diminish just I just throw that out there all right 
I'll just throw that out there. And then, you know, one thing that I also noticed is more towards the beginning of the broadcast, and I have to say more, more on behalf of Celeste. Towards the, be the beginning of the broadcast, they were talking about, uh, y'all were talking about um, online, people online being predators and stuff, you know, perverts. Okay, here's one thing I can definitely agree with you upon. There is all sort of perverts and pedophiles upon the internet. Promise you that. Right? But one thing I noticed is that uh, the conversation took a little bit of a, d a dark turn. A, a weird, a kind of a dark path just because it started leaning into restricting free speech. And I know. I know people are going to be like, oh, God, you and your free speech all day and stuff. You always got to be talking about free speech. We're talking about pedophiles and justice. It's like, yes, I understand. But what I would want to throw out there is there's a number of organizations. There's not enough, but there's a number of organizations whose job it is with actual people instead of algorithms and robots, actual people figuring out pedophiles on the Internet and going ahead and nabbing them and, and throwing them in jail, or at least trying to, right? These organizations actually exist, and I think that's actually the best way to go. In fact, I figured we should make more and more of those organizations. What I noticed, what was being leaned to was the idea of a kind of an algorithm robot, an algorithm robot or whatever that censors people, kind of like Demolition Man style, on their language. What you're going to have to understand is, yes, I know children are dying, and I'm a big opponent of that. Um, but however, free speech is quite important. And you'll find that free speech actually, uh, it causes a lot of children to have safe, healthy lives and stuff like that. Free speech does. So you have to be very careful dancing around that sort of thing. Uh, the reason I bring that up is I've heard a lot of people with that notion that, oh, you need, we need robots and algorithms. It's like, uh, you don't understand what's going on here. All right. I'm right there with you. There's pedophiles on the internet, dude. Trust me. They, they find me on the internet and, and my kind of videos. Uh, the thing is, I felt lots of the times. In regards to Caitlin Nicole, that situation, uh, what I had to bring up is that sometimes it was getting off course, to be honest with you. All right. And what I mean by that, if you'll hear me out, what I mean by it was getting off course is, all right, there was a lot of people and names brought up. A lot of us who are familiar with this case, they already know those names. And y'all brought up a lot of developments assuredly that are very informative for people who are new to the case, but for those not new to the case, they already knew these things and I don't want to seem like overly criticizing but what I'm trying to get at is there was there was no new ground gained right sincerely during the conversation there was nothing new that was uh, being revealed as far as Caitlin Nicole maybe there will be something new as far as the next broadcast and I look forward to it all right uh, but nothing new is gained all right um, there's a lot of sort of questions that I could have asked, uh, that I could still ask, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shoot, man. I do like this live stream stuff, by the way, you guys. I'm getting into that. Here's the thing, though. I'm on this cell phone deal, and that's, that's where I do my live streams. I don't know if I could split screen, right? But if I ever got that split screen technology, dude, I'd be delighted to get on a, like a, a broadcast with one of y'all, or maybe both y'all. Uh, the thing is... And talk to y'all about gaining ground in this situation because dude speaking in generalities you me and everybody else we want to see justice you me and everybody else pointing the fingers at people all around this situation and saying we hate that person we're all doing that all right we know who the characters are in this uh in this movie if you will all right we already know that and that's what was taking place during the discussion all right so what is the new ground gain i'm hitting at certain things certain ways of thinking about things that might get us somewhere as far as justice because i feel like justice is being served as far as spreading caitlin's name far and wide and i've said that before i feel like justice is getting served but yet still people are still talking about justice and I'd have to go ahead and agree with uh, Jamie Fisher when she says, I don't think anybody's going to jail off this. Mm. 
I don't think so either. No, I don't think so either. I don't think anybody's going to see a jail cell off this. Um, th that's something to think about because we could point our fingers all day at these people who are not going to see a jail cell for what has been done here. But just how, how far will that get us? All right. So then where are we? Are we at a dead end? I don't think so. I don't think you think so. No, if we're not at a dead end, then there has to be more developments. We have to get somewhere with this. Now, Jamie Fisher, she said uh, maybe a couple times, she said something about there's a larger picture of this. There's a big message that's being said here. I would agree with Jamie Fisher on that. She didn't really elaborate. And I, and I would like for her to. Um, I would like for her to elaborate. But thing is I've already put out basically if I had to guess what the message is in this whole situation the major underlying uh, message in this whole situation I, you know I've stated what I think it is I would like to hear what they think it is all right and and if their their hypothesis is better than mine I will adopt theirs all right because here's the thing I want to see progress here I'm not talking about a dead end here. This is not where the buck stops. I don't think anyone's going to see a jail. But the thing is, justice does have to be carried out, though. So what uh, becomes obviously paramount is what is the message being said here? All right. It's very complicated. I'm sure I've gone over it a lot. The thing is, y'all probably seen the videos of what you think. I think the message is here. And... I would love to talk to y'all about it. Either way, however y'all want to do it, I would love to talk to y'all about, okay, well, if if this isn't a dead end, then what is the message here? All right. Does the message have anything to do with sexual deviancy uh, or premarital sex relations? Does it have anything to do with that? All right. And if it did, are are we guilty? Are we guilty? These are the certain things where we we come we get down to the nitty gritty. We dive down the rabbit hole and then keep digging. All right, because we don't like dead ends. Because you know, justice does need to be had. What is the underlying message? Is the underlying message that we need to restrict free speech on the internet? I don't really think so, man. Is the underlying message that, dude, uh, hardly anybody, especially little girls out here, don't have their fathers around, and it's an epidemic. Is that the underlying message? Is the underlying message is that, that this is a situation that's happened thousands and thousands of times over? Even in our country, which is the best country that ever lived, so you can imagine about the other countries. Is the underlying message that, you know, uh, this has been going on and stuff, and so uh, w let's continue to point our fingers at this and that person. It's the underlying message that maybe we should look into ourselves and realize how we're actually guilty in a situation with a, uh, with a little girl and we never even knew her. Do we somehow participate in a society that would foster something like this and break this? Do, is, do we uh, agree and comply with this sort of protocol? in our lifestyles, in our lifestyles, right? So as you can see, I mean, and you already know that we, we disagree on a lot of stuff. Thing is, do you live stream with us? Ah, oh, man, that gets y'all some views and stuff, man. I promise you, and you already know it's true, man. And thing is, I have nothing but respect and, and appreciation for both y'all and stuff. Y'all do a great job, Let's see. But before we get up out of here, I wanna let y'all know, here's another underlying message that I was thinking about, all right, before we get out of here. Um, uh, I was thinking about, you know, all the people that were coming on YouTube to watch this, all the people who were coming on the Facebook to watch it, all the people on the YouNow coming to watch this, everybody who's invested some, somehow in Caitlin Nicole, it seems as though we're becoming somewhat synchronized with each other. If you'll step back and look at all the people and parties involved, you'll see a synchronization happening. And uh, might I suggest that that's a good thing, that's a natural thing, right? You're seeing progress. All, right, all the people that are basically synchronizing. All right. So with that in mind, I just wanted to let y'all know the video I uh, the video I uh, uploaded just.
previously to this one is a video and I uploaded it right before watching this here broadcast I would like to invite you both of you to know that I care about y'all I right? know that we probably never meet anyways but it doesn't really make a difference know that I care about y'all know that I love to have all sort of dialogue and stuff talk about whatever you want to do uh, free speech that's paramount to me and stuff dude I don't ever raise my voice and stuff like that because it sounds ridiculous all right things like that I love debate I love having debates all right thing is I care about y'all and <laughs> y'all might want to check out that video that I put prior to this because that might be an underlying message concerning this whole Caitlin McClure, uh situation anyways I'm sure I'll hear from y'all soon. Holler at me. Where balls deep have been the tribulation, you guys. It's July the 16th, 2017. And I'll holler at y'all.